What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we got a Dragon Ball one today. So we're gonna be doing Goku Super Saiyan 3. It's, you know, big hair Goku. Lots of different versions of this, but we'll start with a simple one. Um, well, simple-ish. He's just straightforward standing, straight on pose. And we're gonna start with, we're about the middle, maybe a little bit higher than the center of my page. And we're gonna start with that, um, just a line straight down the middle of his forehead. So it's like a frown just here. And these curve up both sides. Like so. It's kind of like that W that Dragon Ball characters have in the middle of their forehead usually, but his don't go up the other side. Right, so we're gonna bring these lines across the top. Like so, and then this one goes up. Like so. This one goes a little bit further and comes up the side. This one doesn't because he's got a piece of hair sticking down right here. So, we'll just do his eye in here. That box-like Dragon Ball eye. So we go diagonal down, across, and a little line up. The one on this side, down, cross, and then it goes up here. And you can see that it's smaller than this one because we've got a spike of hair just here. If you were doing pencil, you could draw the full eye and rub it out after. And I do recommend to use pencil, guys. And hit pause if I go too fast. So there's that hair spike, kind of looks like a tooth coming down here covering that part of his eye. Right, so his iris, so we have a half circle just in there. We have a half circle just in here. And then pupil, half circle colored in black and half circle colored in black here. Right, so his nose is just down from there so we do a sort of an L, backwards L, just here. And then we have that shadow part. So it comes down diagonal down here. And then we bring it down underneath and back up the other side. So it kind of looks like a hat, a diamond or something with the, this side cut off. My Sharpie is bleeding in on this eye, so I just gotta fix that. Please stand by. Okay, that's a bit better. Whew. Man. Okay. So his mouth, smiling, coming across underneath his nose, just here, up this side, like so. A little smirk on that side too. And then he's just got a smile line just here. And one here. Line for his bottom lip, just there. And then he's got a pointy chin, just down here. These come up to his jaw then, so we go up this way. And then when we, when we hit right across from his bottom lip here, we're going to change direction and go up side of his head. We're going to do this on this side. Bit bumpy there. Do this on this side and then same thing up the side of his head. Like so. Right, so then he has a brow line just in here. And then two brow lines coming across this way. Like so. Then his ears. Big ears for Dragon Ball characters. Coming out like so. And down. Kind of pointy on top. Same on the other side. 
down and into cross. You could use a ruler if you wanted to line them up. So real big ears. And then bones and ligaments. Easiest way to do it is just like curve line there with a little J line, just like so. But if you wanted, you can add more detail. Nobody looks at ears anyway, don't worry too much about it. This comes up like so. Little J line. So you can leave it just like that if you wanted. I'm just gonna add more detail for anyone who wants to. So now it's hairline. So we have a sideburns. Just one sideburn there. This one comes up like so. Same on this side. So we have a sideburn just here. Ah, yeah, just there. Thought I made a mistake there. Whew. And then this is gonna come up and around to here. And then this comes back around. It's kind of like Vegeta's hair, even though it's Goku, but it's just, your hair starts to recede when you're Super Saiyan 3, for some reason. <laughs> He's got no eyebrows, I guess, maybe it does. Oh my God, conspiracy. So then this keeps going and it goes underneath that spike, just here. And then the other side of that spike comes around to there. Now the main part of Goku Super Saiyan 3 is obviously the crazy big hair. So we gotta do that now. Oh no, sorry, side of his head here. This first. Now, now we can do his hair. So he's got one big spike coming up this way. And then this is gonna come back down and in to here. Ba, 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 ba. And then the next spike comes down that way. Curving down like that. So they kind of look like shark fins or horns or something. He's got one in between these two. So just here. Now there is a big one in between those again, behind them, just there. Then he's a pretty big center one, just here, goes up, comes back down. And then there is one in front of that one, so it's just, let's see, here, boom, just there. And then this comes down like so. And then, actually this comes down further. This is gonna come down all the way to there. Then next one, coming out the side, coming out that way. And then comes back in. And then there's one in between those two, behind them. So before we go down the side, we'll just finish these ones over here. So you want just there. So don't be afraid to smash your pause button if I'm going too fast. It'll really help you out or even slow it down in the settings. Here's another one just sticking down here. Back into there. And then he's one in between. Like so, and he actually has another one here, back in. All right, so we can go down his head now. So they just go down behind his shoulders. So this comes down like so, back to there. And then this one comes down, but it hits his shoulder, so we can't see the end of it. And we have another spike that goes off my page just there. And then over here, another spike going down. And then we've one in between, just here. And then another 
a spike this way. And then this comes down, spike in there. And then this goes behind his shoulder. Yes, yes, behind his shoulder. And then another line just here. Maybe this comes a bit further actually, just like so. Right, so then this, these mean his shoulders here. And then there's all those hairlines, those texture lines all over. So you're just following the shape for his hair, adding a couple here and there. So if you followed any of my Dragon Ball videos already, you'll know what this is. You're just following the shape, adding texture lines. Don't mind me, I do sound effects when I'm drawing. God, I'm so weird. Am I the only one who does the sound effects thing when they're drawing? Okay, I'll add the rest of the hairlines when we do the neck, just because I know where to stop. So, his neck and shoulders, we'll do that now. So, real muscular neck, curving around here, from the ear, curving around that side. Then we have his trapezius, just here, about halfway, kind of looks like a letter T going sideways. Another one there. And then, his shoulder line, so we have bumps for like, the folds of his clothes, just like that. And then his shoulder will come down that way. This bumps down for the orange part. Then we have a blue part, just like that. And then pretty much same thing over here. So a few bumps for the folds of his clothes. That's all you're doing. You do random. That one you gotta get right though, that's the orange. So it comes across here. Big one, like so. Now we can add in the rest of those hairlines. So just, okay. So, right, we'll finish off the inside of his collar just here. So this comes down and around, just like so. Back up into here. And then we got some muscles inside here. So the top of his chest curves across like so. The other side curves across like so. And then we have a line in the middle. And then we can see his neck muscle just there, neck muscle just there. And then maybe a line just for his Adam's apple and another neck muscle, muscles on his muscles. And another line. Diagonal that way for his trapezius. Like so. Okay. So we'll do his torso and then we'll do what we can see of his arms. So this line, the orange part, is going to come down. Put it here. And then go diagonal in. Both sides. Then we have another line. So it comes down, comes down. In. And same over here, comes down and in. To his waist, so it comes down and in, and then we have another bit and his waist. He's got that waistband on, so it's just like a wavy line down here. And then, this comes down and in, and then a wavy line down this way, right? So this comes straight across. And then he's got like random sort of full lines just coming across here. 
just to show that blue thing he's got on. It's like a waistband. Right, and then he's got the V for the orange section coming down here. Comes up and around there. And then more sort of fold lines coming down. Like so. This comes longer. This one's longer, longer. This one's longer. This one comes down that way. Just adding the folds for his clothes. You're going in this way. That's the main thing you gotta remember. You're following the, the way the clothes is bunched up in his waistband. And then we have a big one that comes right across his body, just there. And another one up here. And then he has that circle, you know, uh, the symbol. So you can draw that if you want it, or you can leave it off, it's up to you. And he's got uh, some writing inside there. So it's like calligraphy. So we're gonna just go straight down. You can leave this part out if you wanted. This is pretty thick. Like so. Then he's a diagonal line just here around this. And then, so we have a wavy line just here, thicken it up. Then we have a line down, kind of looks like a letter T, but it's not a letter T. And then this comes across on the bottom. Just thicken it up. And then this comes across again, another thick line, and it comes down and touches that one. And then there's a box. And you got to make it thick. Uh, I think there's one more line just here. Boom. Okay, what's next? Arms. Our boy needs arms. So, so shoulder muscles have blue clothing on them. So we'll do that first. So this comes down into here. Then we go down this way. Comes down into there. So that's like his blue sleeves. We do that on this side as well. Like so. Shoulder muscle. Curving that way. Tricep comes down like so. Comes in like that. Forearm comes down off my page just there. So we're going to go inside and do his his bicep and forearm on the other side. So this comes down and in here. And then his forearm comes off my page that way. Now in there, we've got more muscle lines. So, bicep, down and there. So it goes diagonal, and then down, and then diagonal again, like so. And as I said, muscles on his muscles. So we gotta draw another line just here for the inside of his bicep, down to there. And then a forearm muscle line just there. And maybe a line for where it joins his tricep, like that. Oh, and there's another shoulder line there. Then we go over and do it over this side. So, shoulder, we can only see a bit, not as much. I think I went down further with the sleeve. But you just draw in this curved section here. 
tricep. Oh, so tricep. I forgot that on this side. So there's like a little bump there. And then this comes down and then like there. And then his forearm comes down off the page. Bicep inside. And forearm down off the page. And then the inside bicep line just here. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. And then. Wait, that's that way. Yeah. And then the inner bicep line, like this one. Like so. And then form. Just there. Then we can see some hair just inside here. Because his hair goes the whole way down his back. And maybe some hairlines in here as well. This is the last step. Boom. Okay, how to draw Goku Super Saiyan 3. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Smash like. Subscribe. I never say that. Smash like, subscribe. <laughs> Bye.